Hello, I'm John Cole and I work at the Library of Congress. I've been here for 40 years and I have no intention of retiring. I am the founding director of the Center for the Book in the Library of Congress, which promotes books and reading. I'm also a historian of the Library of Congress, which gives me a unique perspective on not only the library's history, but also its personalities. Today I would like to share some information about my favorite librarian of Congress, Ainsworth Rand Spofford, who was the librarian from 1864 until 1897. Spofford's second major uh, contribution after the centralization of copyright at the Library of Congress, when the library was in the Capitol, his second contribution was the construction of the Jefferson, today's Jefferson Building. Uh, he needed the space, the library needed the space, and he accomplished it. Spofford previously had been a newspaperman in Cincinnati, Ohio, and kind of a literary entrepreneur. He brought Eastern writers to his bookshop, which he ran in Cincinnati, as speakers, and he was responsible for bringing Ralph Waldo Emerson West for the very first time, and they became friends in the 1850s uh, in Cincinnati. Spofford came to the Library of Congress, became librarian, the Jefferson Building got built, and there was money left over and they decided to decorate it and asked Spofford to help by naming, giving names of his favorite writers which were embellished not only in the ceilings of the Jefferson's Great Hall but also across the west front of the building. One of the writers Spofford chose of course was Ralph Waldo Emerson. Spofford cared deeply about every aspect of the building and he carefully followed the work of the sculptor of the bust of Emerson the, uh, was Jonathan Scott Hartley and there was a little controversy because Spofford didn't approve of Mr. Emerson's nose and let the sculptor know. The sculptor initially thought that his Emerson's nose was too big but no, Spofford told him it wasn't sharp enough and that it needed to be sharper and larger and this is what finally happened, uh, but there also were complaints about Mr. Spofford supervising the sculptures and the artwork too closely. Uh, after that incident, uh, he kept to the business of choosing the quotations and the, and the inscriptions that are throughout the wonderful Jefferson Building. I'm John Cole. I hope that you will join me again on redroom.com to talk about the Library of Congress and to continue our conversation.